Let's take a look at some probability. Probability allows us to describe how likely something is to happen. Its form is the number of favorable outcomes over the n all possible outcomes, the number of all possible outcomes in a given situation. Another way we could put it is that it's what we want to happen over the total things that could happen in a given situation. So let's take a look at an example here to understand what's going on. If we've got one roll of a die and we're looking for the probability that that die is going to come up either a three or a five, well a standard die is numbered from one through six so what we want to happen there's two of those things it could be a three or it could be a five so that's going to be our top number in our ratio and the total number of things that could happen well there's six possible numbers that could come up numbers one through six as we roll a die so it'd be two over six now this is a ratio we can simplify it just a fraction so in this case we could divide by two on the top and bottom and come up with two divided by two of course is one and six divided by two would be three so the probability that you would come up with either a three or a five on one roll of a die is one-third now kind of going back here uh, probability is always between zero and one so if something is in the middle or at about one half that means it's about fifty percent of the time it'll happen we can think of these ratios also as percents so one-third is the same as thirty three and a third percent so thirty three and a third percent of the time we could get a three or a five when we roll a die so about thirty three point three repeating of course percent of the time now let's take a look at another one here probability of getting less than three well how many numbers on a die are less than three one's less than three two's less than three 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 is not less than three so that's it so we've got two again and the total things that could happen well there's still six numbers on that die so this one's gonna be the same two over six which simplifies to one-third so again thirty three point three or thirty three and a third percent of the time we should get a number less than three now another thing about probability that's important to remember this is what we would expect to happen given a very large sample group so if we did this a, a many 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 times probably hundreds or thousands of times we would expect that it's gonna work out to be about a third of the time you'd get a number less than three it's not a guarantee however if you roll a die and you roll it six times say we wouldn't always get two that are gonna be less than three it's the difference between experimental and theoretical probability now let's look at this one probability of getting a seven well how many sevens are on a die a standard six-sided die doesn't have any sevens it's numbered one through six so that would be zero what we want to happen again that total is the same there's six sides so zero out of six is going to be a probability of zero probability of zero means that there's absolutely no chance that that will happen now let's go over here and take a look at this spinner what is the probability that we're going to come up with a red spot on this spinner going back to our general form here again what we want to happen is get a red so how many red spots are there there's two so two is going to go on top the total number of things that could happen well let's count them up we've got one two three four five six seven eight there's eight possible spots it could stop on so that's going to be our bottom number and we can simplify that of course by dividing by two on the top and bottom 
2 divided by 2 again is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the probability that we're going to land on a red spot is 1 out of 4 or about 25% of the time. How about this one? Probability of a spot that's not blue. Well, let's count up how many spots are not blue on our spinner. That's blue. Here's one that's not blue. So we've got one, two, three, four spots that are not blue. That's what we want, so we put that on top. Then the total things, there's still eight spots on that spinner, so that's eight on the bottom. Four over eight, divide by four on the top and bottom to simplify, and we get one half. So approximately one half of the time, we're going to end up on a spot that's not blue. How about this last one? The probability of landing on a spot that is not white. Well, how many of our spots on the spinner are not white? Well, blue's not white, yellow's not white, red is not white, all of them. All of them are not white, so that will be eight. Still eight total spots, so we have eight over eight, and that would simplify to, if we divide by eight on the top and bottom, just be 1 over 1 or 1. A probability of 1 means that something is certain to happen. No matter what, it's going to happen. So in this case, getting a spot that's not white is definitely going to happen because there are no white spots to stop on. So again, probability allows us to figure out um, how likely something is to happen. It's form is the favorable outcomes over the all possible outcomes that there could be. Another way to think of it is what we want to happen over the total things that could happen. Count up how many things there are that we want, put it over the total, simplify. Remember we can express it as a percent if we'd like. Or also remember a probability of zero means that something is never ever going to happen probability of one means that it will definitely happen. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.